Stick around and we'll get right to it. You should be able to tell by the dirty patch that this is a very well used kit. And it's one of the favorite ones that I have. Now I originally built this for radio, but what I found is I grab this thing all the time around the house. And we're gonna go over the contents here in just a second. But it's got just enough in it to get me through most small jobs at the house. If you add a level and a hammer, well, you can do quite a bit around the house with just this few tools in this bag. So let's kind of uh, start taking a look at it and see what we've got. So first off, every kit needs zip ties, and I've got a few. A couple of longer ones and a few smaller ones as well. Below that is a really nice uh, meter for this type of kit. Now, it's not the best meter on the market. It's probably not the most accurate, but it's inexpensive and it's perfect sized for this kit and I have really used this Allison meter quite a few times. Beyond that we've got a knife. Now this knife was a little bit interesting when I picked it up. I've only used it a few times but I do like it and it's worked well when I needed it. This is the SOG electrician's knife and the knife itself is not what's kind of cool. What's kind of cool is it's got a set of wire strippers on the back side of it. So you can use that for uh, cutting cable, cutting wire, uh, stripping it back, getting it ready. So just kind of a neat little piece of kit to have in this bag. Now we've got just a stubby screwdriver handle here. This one is pretty interesting because it allows me to pair it up with several different things in this kit. We'll come back to that in just a second, but it also stores quite a few bits in the handle. And I believe it came with this little driver right here where you can leave it extended out a little bit further or you can really suck it in to give you a nice stubby driver. Now next up and this is one of the changes I have made to this kit since I originally put it together. I've got these Klein double-ended sockets. This one over here is uh, American Standard. This one over here is Metric. So you get several different ones. You've got three different sockets but both of those are, are all three of those are double-ended so it gives you a total of six different bits. So we've got seven and eight right there. We've got 10 and 12 right here. We've got 13 and 14 right here. And the same for the American Standard, you got three different bits giving you six different sizes. Now, cool thing about these, let's go back to the stubby screwdriver again, is we can drop this right in the stubby screwdriver handle and get a little bit more extended reach. But it does lock in, there's a little bit of slop there, but it locks in and gives you a nice handle if you need a nut driver. Uh, last up kind of on this side is just a little bitty three foot tape measure. It's enough most of the time around the house. If not, I'm going to have to go grab one of my 25 foot tapes. I've just got some little um, paper towels in here. You add some water to these little tablets and you get a full size paper towel with those. And then uh, a couple of random bits that I've got in here and a couple of wire nuts, probably from where I did a job and took those off and just tossed them down in the bag. Now, on the other side, we've got a very small ratchet. Now, again, this can easily be paired up with the sockets. So we've got this that we can use. If you need a little bit more torque, this socket came with this extension. And you can put a driver in here. But the cool thing about it, let's see if I can get this lined up correctly. I believe it's like that. That will also slide all the way through, giving you a T-handle driver. So now if we need some really long reach, we can drop this right here. And you can see we've got quite a bit of reach with that and that T-handle to give you a lot of torque. If you don't need quite that much reach, we can honestly take one of these sockets off. I've got this little uh, quarter to quarter bit adapter right here. If we put it in one end, now we can put our socket on that end and we've got a little bit shorter driver. So a lot of different flexibility and a lot of different tools when you look at the ways you can marry these together and switch and swap out bits and parts. Now, I also have one other little uh, adapter here. This one will fit in this and will take quarter inch sockets, normal quarter inch sockets on this end. So occasionally I have found that to be helpful and it's just something that I like to keep in here just in case. I will say though, I don't use this particular adapter 
very often. So it's probably one of those things that could be eliminated if I wanted to. Now, a real star of this bag is these two sets of pliers. These are the Knipex pliers. This first version is their water pump. And I believe, guys, these are the five inch versions. And I will leave links to all of this down in the description or as much as I can find in case you're interested. But these Knipex pliers are incredible. They are useful for all kinds of different things. And look at the size of the opening that you get when you fully extend it. Now, granted, you're not gonna get a, little to a lot of torque on this because of the shorter handles but I have found these useful on many different occasions. Now, to go with those is this other set of Knipex pliers, and these are the straight jaw ones. And these are really unique in the way they work because as you open and close them, these jaws stay parallel. And I have found that these are a great replacement to a crescent wrench, uh, a crescent style wrench. Now, the one great thing about these, and let me see if I can kind of demo it on camera, you don't really have to squeeze. The harder you push on this, the more pressure you're going to put on this handle right here, and the tighter that jaw is going to get. So you've got a lot less chance of rounding a nut off with these straight jaw Knipex pliers. So these are a real winner in my book. But they don't open up as far, and if you're trying to tighten up something, say, uh, something round, say like a garden hose style connector, that's where you really need these instead. So it's not a either or for me. I've got to have both of them because they both do specific jobs very well. But if you try to reverse that role, they don't work near as well. Now, in addition to that, I've got uh, just a short little ruler here. I like this one because I can kind of check and see maybe how long a nut is by putting it, or a, a screw or a bolt rather, by putting it right here and being able to measure that out. I do have a little bit of electrical tape wrapped around an old credit card. I've got some Gorilla tape wrapped around a old uh, debit card. And then remember, this was originally built for a radio repair kit. And that's what's basically in this little box right here. If we open that up, I've got some various adapters for HTs to adapt them over to BNC if I need it. I've got an SO239 uh, connector. I've got a Cobra head connector, a repair part for a power pole, a couple of spare fuses, some extra spare ring terminals, and a few insulators. So this, like I said, this was built originally for radio. So that's why you see the radio parts still in this bag today. Now in this outside compartment right here, this little mesh, it's held together with Velcro. I keep a couple of pieces of wire. Various things can be done with this. This one already has a power pole attached and a bare end on the other end of it. So use as needed. You could go ahead and put that uh, power pole repair kit on this end. So you'd have a double ended uh, piece, of or piece of wire with double ended power poles on it. The other one is just a bare piece of wire. So some sort of repair that we might need to make, this could come in handy.